Hi everyone, my name is Jason Gaskin and I'm the pastor of Story Church here in Mebane in Alamance County. I don't know if you are like me, but growing up, rarely was there ever a new person uh, that came to eat at our table with my family. It was always the same predictable people. And I get it, like for my family and for most of us, it was safe uh, because you didn't have to worry about what other people thought of you, you didn't have to worry about other people's assumptions of you or their political beliefs uh, because you knew one another. And so rarely uh, did we eat with someone new. As I started this church planning journey six months ago, I asked some church planning friends, uh, so tell me, what are the secrets? What do I need to do to plan a church? And each one of them told me the hard reality that I needed to get used to opening new people uh, and welcoming them into my life. Uh, my heart was devastated because I, like so many people, surround myself with predictable people who are like me, who tend to look like me and to have the same views and values as me. But these last few months, uh, I've tried to uh, bulldoze through all the assumptions that I think people would have of me, and I've opened my home and my family up. Uh, I didn't know what my uh, young kids would do when somebody would come over, if they would uh, jump on the couch, if they would hit the guest, if they would poop in their pants. I don't know what they would do. Uh, it was scary and anxious, but we did it. We had the practice of inviting people into our homes and we didn't know them and they didn't know us. But as I'm on the other side, I'm realizing and recognizing what I'm missing in my life and I think what our whole society is missing is that we're missing this eclectic community of people that walk in life together who maybe don't know each other, who might are strangers to one another, but just could be friends. And not only friends, their lives could transform the world. And so this is what this community is about. It is not about the same people gathering together week after week. This is about a community that is moving from a place to stranger to friends. Uh, we, we think a lot of what Jesus called us to, that Jesus called us to the table as strangers, and then as we leave, he called us friends. And then he just says to go and do what he did for us. And so that's what we are about as a community. We want to walk together uh, in life and to build friendship and to build community on this journey. We have realized so often on our church journey, and I as a pastor have realized that oftentimes people uh, who go to church or who are part of a faith community don't tell their story or don't tell the real story because they fear that people might gossip about them, people might judge them for who they are. And so we wanna be intentional about our community and creating a safe place for people to tell their story and to know that you won't be abandoned uh, or rejected for uh, telling your story. And actually we think when you tell your story, we our lives are better for it. My fundamental belief is that people uh, ultimately transform us. They change our lives. And that's what we are about as a community. Uh, we think books are great, uh, church and speakers are great, but walking in life in new community and new friendship ultimately is the greatest transformation that we can ask for. And so we hope that you might join us, uh, regardless of who you are, whether you're religious, non-religious, whether you have the world figured out or you don't, whether you know the Bible or you don't know the Bible, it does not matter. Uh, we want you to come alongside us um, and to be our friend on this journey uh, so that we might transform the world.